I'm also going to be reading because to be quite frank with you, since you are in a mutable energy and my raising is in a mutable, a mutable energy, it is very hard for me to focus. And so I extensively wrote down um, these because I knew with Saturn squaring that it could possibly um, allow me not to see what I need to see. And the messages could be very difficult for me to interpret at this time because of the squaring. And this is what you guys will experience as well. So a solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth and prevents the sun from shining. When the sun is in a new moon shadow, the new moon's energetic power overrides your ability to shine in the house that it's emphasizing. So this is a sense of darkness and then immediate light. You are getting some clarity. There is a sense of a reboot, a clearing in energy. And then when your sun comes back out of that shadow, there's a sense of, oh, I, I missed my sun from shining. And then there's just this energetic alignment with what it takes to make your sun shine. That's the reboot. I like to look at this as a reboot because so much of this energy, um, this, this eclipse is going to be about all of the energy being in Pisces and then it's starting to switch over into Aries. So it's ending and beginning kind of in reverse a little bit, but the same concept. So um, for you, there's a need to connect mentally with everything you do. So for you, when this begins, what I think happens is that, you know, there's a sense of confusion. Your thoughts are not clear because of all of this energy squaring off with Saturn. There's a sense that it's just, there's no clarity. There's a sense of one minute you think about one thing and the next minute you think about another thing, but there's no uniting the energy. There's no, it, it doesn't have any direction. So your mind is flooding with constant input dreams, hope, ambition. There's lots coming in, but when you compute it and you decipher it, there's no more clarity than there was before. So this, there's so much to consider, so much so that you feel unsure if even what you're feeling. I don't even think you can realistically identify. You want to move forward, but many of you may find this difficult as you feel confined by a partnership, and many of you are doubting that they understand your vision. They don't understand you because you don't understand you. So relationships mirror what we um, relationships mirror what we're going through. So if you're looking in the mirror and they don't seem to understand you, then look at it and say, oh, my God, if they don't understand me, I bet you I don't understand me because what I'm giving them to interpret, they don't freaking know because I don't know. So, and that's okay, because everybody's caught in, in a state of confusion. Everybody is trying to interpret information that is not easy to decipher. Everybody is caught in mutable energy. Everybody is, ha is experiencing the same flood that you are. Um, so, um, there is a sense that because of all this mutable energy, that um, part of the problem is, is that you get excited about a career and a life path destiny one day, and then the next day you're talking about a different career life path destiny. A partner may feel like you have no idea what you want and you and may be critical of your choices. This may suddenly end your interest in explaining and being accountable to someone who does not understand you. There is so much possibility, yet Pisces energy is squaring, making your thoughts very scattered. Understand that your partner does not get you because you don't get you. You can't, you are a communicative sign. And when you're in this energy, you cannot decipher because as everything came into you and flooded everything out, there's a sense of, oh my gosh, there's that detail and that detail and that detail. But the details are going in different directions. And so are you. So before you get judgmental, hypercritical and hypersensitive to all of this energy. If your partner feels like they're being attacked or that they, or you're looking at your partner like they don't understand you, it's because deeply, deeply, I don't think you understand you. And you're communicating, um, uh, you're communicating every thought you have in this energy because that's what Piscean energy makes you, you do. But your thoughts are so inconsistent 
it's so frustrating for people who are probably much more fixed, much more understand, are submitting a little easier than you are. I don't think it's that you're not submitting. I just don't think you get it. I don't think you get what you're supposed to get and nobody is. So what happens is, is you're a piece of clay and then we dumped a bunch of water on it and it is watered down your clay and you are at this point a shape shifter. You are, you have no shape. And so what is going to happen in the new beginning is as your clay dries out and as this mutable energy starts to mold you, it, there will be um, something that everybody can recognize, a consistency in the shape of your clay. But for right now, that's not you. And so um, it's really important to understand what the special messages of the universe is for you. And this energy is swirling and churning up all kinds of exciting possibilities. You are like a kid in a candy store. Be mindful of others with fixed opinions that may not be able to adapt to quickly um, to change as quickly as you can and have a little compassion. They're not in your head. They don't just they don't understand you. And not only that, they're also going through their flood as well. So you need to have love and compassion and understand that you just gave off a mixed message. And even though the clarity at that moment, one of your twins was communicating one way, the other twin is going to turn around and communicate with them a different way. And you're going to lose any am amount of respectability and accountability. And that they're not going to understand what you're going through. And that's okay because mutable energy is actually reacting to this energy very, very different than um, fixed energy sources if some of you are involved with fixed energies. So um, for you... Um, you are in a new beginning. You're um, immensely aware of everything around you. You're easily distracted. You're intrigued to your every um, ever-changing environment. Write down all of your ideas to help grind, uh, to, gr to ground them. So I'm going to tell you it works for me. There is no way that I could give a reading right now with the energy, mutable energy being in a square because my rising is in a mutable energy. So here's what I suggest that you do. If you start to experience misunderstandings or if there's a lack of understanding within yourself, writing is eloquent in this energy. There's a sense of what's flooding out of you easily pours onto a piece of paper. Um, miscommunications happen verbally. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's different, but it is. And, 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 and because I channel energy, that is my advice to you. I feel it as an effective tool of communication for some of you that are lacking in consistency. So the new beginning is this is brainstorming time. And you're probably bouncing all of this inform all of these new ideas and your environment, your ever-changing environment and your mindsets off onto your loved ones. And guess what your loved ones are like? What the hell? One minute you're one twin, the next minute you're the other twin. And it's super frustrating. They don't live with the duality, the duality that you do, not to mention all of the energy is immutable and um, duality uh energy. So it, you're easily ever changing and adapting and this is invigorating and exciting and there is lots of possibilities but your partner is like no oh, freaking no or your friends or your significant relationships or your family members that are trying to predict and guide you through whatever it is you're going through. So don't expect your decisions to last. They won't. They will change a lot. Um, this is mutable energy, so be mindful of leaving a relationship while you are in this restless energy. Do not make decisions during this time. The eclipse season is all about eclipsing out and um, finalizing things, and it is, and it, and it will. But I have a strange feeling with this mutable energy, and so much, so many of our personal planets in mutable energy that I believe that some of you may actually regret some of the mutable energy that you are going to, the way that you're going to allow the mutable energy to affect you. Um, if you still feel that the relationship is holding you back, the lunar eclipse at the end of the month on the 28th is going to provide you with a diplomatic and fair resolution for all of you, and it will accumulate and it will end if it is not ideally what is going to carry you into the future. So let's talk about the lunar eclipse. For you, um, this lunar eclipse is significant because it is immutable energy. Um, 
And when it is in mutable energy, um, your ruler is going to be experiencing an alignment. So this lunar eclipse um, is the earth that blocks the sun casting a shadow over the moon. So this isn't about, there is an emotional reboot as to what you want as this event happens. But after that, there's some sort of clarity. There's some sort of the, you know, um, the earth and the sun play into the decisions. So you have, you can disconnect a little bit easier from your emotion and make that emotional cumulative ending decision. So this is why there's all, there's um, usually a lot of um, endings associated with a lunar eclipse because it's, it's an accumulative energy. So the lunar eclipse in Libra will be combined with an alignment that makes you feel divinely guided. Uh, the sun and Aries will align with Mercury and Aries, merge, merging the way that you think with what your heart desires on a very, very simplistic level. So we went from this deep energy that makes us think about everything, and there's some sort of um, there's some sort of uh, lost karmic wisdom that needs to be assessed from it, and then we go into at the very end of the month we go into immediate needs gratification let's make decisions let's take action quick uh witted as as opposed to lost in water energy and submitting to it this is about moving forward with what you desire as a human being this isn't about taking into account the big picture so your ruler is going to switch into aries during this lunar event your mind is no longer going to be clouded with people pleasing energy um you are going to be quick-witted, very decisive. Your ruler will align with what you desire, providing you with clarity. Uh, some of you may be guided to take a risk and make a commitment to someone that you have a romantic intentions for. There is a sense of going um, in the right direction. Very, very task-oriented, very, very direction-oriented. Um, I don't think you're going to think so much about the consequences as you're going to think I can adapt to whatever consequences happen. I need results now is kind of going to be your mindset. Um, so this person, uh, oh, so some of you are going to be guided to take a risk. Um, and there is a sense of going in the right direction, especially with a person that really aligns with your hopes, dreams, and wishes. They're supporting you. They're like, okay, this person's immutable clay. They don't know what they're doing. I support them in any decision they make. That is going to be the person that you're going to start to align with because that is going to make you very, very invigorated about the future. Um, there could be a certain friendship that no longer supports uh, progression. Um, there could be a social circle that does not understand what's going on with you. You've maybe made too many changes. Maybe there's no consistency. Uh, maybe they're judging you harshly. And so, you know what? Put them on the back burner. You don't care. You know, whatever doesn't serve you isn't coming forward in this energy. Um, so the sun and Mercury, both in Aries, um, there's a sense to make changes. There's haste associated with you're very hasty minded. You're very uh, quick to act and repercussion later type mindset. Be mindful of the endings do lead to new beginnings. So some of you do experience an ending. There is no lack of, lack of opportunity in the future coming up. Um, if you make a decision now, it will be based on joint ventures that you will consider both the pros and cons. This lunar eclipse is in, air, is in Libra. There's a sense of power in numbers. There's a sense of um, partnership. There is a sense of unity. There is a sense of pleasure. Um, there's a lot that you want right now. And I think that many of you believe this is not about, although some of you can be quite independent in this energy and moving forward, some of you will want to align with people that support your decisions and that you can bounce ideas off and that provide you stability while you are trying to stabilize your mutable energy source. Um, it's a beautiful energy. I think for the most part, just remember that if you're going through all of this, that you're a piece of clay watered down as you go into the end of the month. Um, your clay starts to be molding. It, it, it's going to take short, um, form. But remember, we've got six months for you to figure out what that form resembles. This is a new you. This is a new way of thinking. This is an ending of going through the entire zodiac and a beginning of starting the new um, lunar cycle for you, the new, I mean, excuse me, the, the new sun sign cycle for you. So you need to cycle through all the energies again, too. 
um, inevitably find out what that sh how that shaped you for the next oncoming year because March truly deeply in astrology signifies the beginning of the year. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological events.